I'm back. Vlog at 379. Good morning. I told you if I got 1,111 subscribers, I would start vlogging again. Ta-da! Literally while I was setting the camera up, I <laughs> I have a new tripod that for some reason I ended up taking out and I was like, no, I'm gonna use this old one until the old one broke. Like immediately. Just snap the plastic, the little plastic bits. It broke. So I'm down another tripod. I mean I can still use this, I can still hang it from stuff. Anyways, welcome to my vlog. It's been like it's been a couple months. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's, let's go. You might be wondering, why are you vlogging again? Like, what's happening? Who are you? You're probably not wondering who I am, actually, at this point. You probably already know who I am, but uh, someday in the future, maybe you will be. Here's the summary. My name is Jay. I moved back to France about five months ago. I am not French. Should be obvious, actually. I'm very much American. I'm here on an artist visa that's going to last me for four years, assuming I get to keep it. We'll find that out at the end of September. Do I get to stay in France or don't I? Uh, one of the major stressors in my life. I also am pseudo sleepy because I've been getting up at like 5.30 in the morning the last couple of days just to film those wonderful intros that you saw. Also, for those of you who are worried about the sunglass situation, where did I get these sunglasses and why am I wearing them? These are the cheap pair of sunglasses I bought just for the Wyoming guard on vacation character. Yeah, they're a little bit small for my face and I don't really think look that great. So I'm still gonna put on Patreon a vote for sunglasses. I just need to go to the place that sells the sunglasses I think I'm gonna get and I'll give you guys some options for styles. How's that sound? In the meantime, I gotta go do a tour and meet my cousin. That'll be kind of cool. I write, I give bike tours in the city, and until I become one of those fancy artists that gets to live off his writing or his YouTubing, I'll be doing stuff like teaching English and giving bike tours around the city. Someday, someday I'll be living the dream. I mean, living in Paris is a dream in its own, but you know. I can tell you this much, I definitely miss vlogging a lot. It's one of those things that's really hard to let go initially, and then even though it's like a little daunting to get into now, we're really ready for it. Really, the importance of vlogging for me is mostly personal. Why do any of us share our stories if we don't believe we're at least of some importance, right? So obviously I believe I'm at least of some importance, but in reality I'm just some guy on his way to work. I'm a guy who writes books, makes videos, but at the end of the day, uh, if we just do a reality check, I'm living in Paris, which is great, uh, but I'm also just barely making ends meet, and kind of figuring things out and getting established here, right? So why bother sharing my life, right? Well, I do have these dreams. I think this year's gonna be really exciting. I think we're gonna go places. I don't know what else is gonna happen exactly, but I believe in myself. And that's the only reason that anybody makes anything. Like, you're not gonna finish writing a book. You're gonna for a year if you don't believe in yourself. That's like a requisite. Also, sorry for me. The thing about vlogging is that it makes you hate everything that makes noise, including cars and wind. Normally I like wind. Right now, I have a feeling that none of us like wind. Last year my vlog was a little bit scattered for a number of reasons. Speaking of noise, just random ladies yelling in their phones. Welcome back to vlogging. I'm serious, like you don't notice a lot of these things until you're thinking like, oh wow, this is gonna be in my sound later. Who knows why she's yelling at somebody. Don't yell on your phones, people, in public. It just makes you look crazy. Last year my vlog was a little bit scattered for a number of reasons. One of those reasons was because going into it, I had a number of projects. I wasn't sure which one was gonna take off. And that uncertainty, you know, kept me like, ooh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's just kind of see what happens. And so I didn't really have a lot of direction. The other was because I was genuinely kind of scared to share with you guys what it is I really want and where it is I really want to go. And that's changing this year. Morning. Oh yeah, you don't. You haven't seen me with this yet. You missed the mustache. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Yeah. Oh yeah. You should have seen Mandy's reaction. I'll try to put Mandy's reaction here somewhere to my mustache yesterday, two days ago. Hey, do you guys sell coffee? Oh my god. <laughs> My face is cold. 
Andy, I'm gonna miss you. What? Why? Who's gonna take care of you when you're gone? Ma when I'm gone? Yeah. Oh. August. And who's gonna make the best coffee? I don't know. That, that is what you'll miss. I'm screwed. My coffee. Also, it is really flipping windy today, so I am sorry in advance for whatever this sounds like. Like I was saying, last year was pretty scattered for a number of reasons. I think principal among them was actually fear. Like, to be honest, I just didn't want to tell you guys what I was hoping to accomplish, uh, because what if I failed in public on that one? I mean, that's in the public record. Ooh, it's windy. I'm working against the wind. So that was definitely number one. What if I fail? Like, what if I don't make it anywhere? And I did fail a lot. Uh, and we struggled through that a little bit together, but I don't think that the full weight of it was really felt by anybody except me because you guys didn't see what was going on and what I was hoping for. So that's part of it. The other part was, like I said, things were a little bit questionable on where all I was actually going to go for the year. I didn't know where I was gonna end up. I didn't know where, I certainly had no idea I was gonna end up living in France again at the end of the year. Though this year doesn't offer a lot more certainty, at least I have a good idea of where I wanna end up this year and how I want things to go. So we're gonna talk more about that. Just express the opinion you just expressed, if you don't mind. That you should never have a beard. It's the first time any guy's ever said that to me. You should never have a beard. Most men tell me you need to keep that no matter right, what happens. What do women say? Uh, it's actually 50-50. Well, there you go. Ladies, what do you think? So beard or no words, beard? So in other words, I'm more in tune with what the ladies are. Phil says no well, beard. No, it's about how comfortable you feel. I feel better. I'll get used to it. Give it another day or two, I'll get used to it. What Last time I tried to, to go without a beard for a while, but it ended up just coming back. Yeah. So we'll see. We haven't seen you fully cleanly. About to enter the secret tunnel of the Louvre. If you guys missed the video that I made, uh, there's a secret tunnel that goes under the Louvre. And I'm gonna show these guys that tunnel here in a second. But first, I don't wanna hit a segue, so I'm gonna pay attention to that. I love this tunnel, this thing's the best. But it was interesting because during the break, uh, my life kind of fell apart a little bit. Not in a bad way, but just there's a level of discipline and structure to having to vlog every day and to keep that going. And then taking a break was good. It was probably good to just kind of like bleh for a little bit, but not only did I miss it, but I didn't get a lot of things done that I wanted to get done, including, I'll learn up to this right away, uh, fell off the diet horse after about two weeks. So I'll have to get back on that here soon. Overall, I've just been dying to get back to vlogging. Like I really enjoy this a lot, even if nobody ever watches it. I just enjoy making these. So we're a lot of falafel. Now this is the number one best kept secret in the Marais that I'm about to blow for everybody, but this is the tiny version of a lot of falafel, right? Look at this place. There's no line. The prices are the same. The food is the same. It's delicious. A lot of falafel. Tiny little one right here. That is the line for the main one. The main one's all the way down there and the line comes all the way to here. This one, no line. Same food, same prices, it's delicious. This is my cousin Megan and Amanda. Oh, how was that? Was it good? Yeah. Yeah, highly recommend it. Rachel and I are returning bikes for Christian right now because they have way too many at the cafe and not enough hands to help, so do that really quick. Once I put this bike away, I'll have to go get another one, but that's okay, because I'm doing this in exchange for coffee. <laughs> I'm back. Don't close up without me. No problem. Could be worse. Not a bad evening with cousins. When are you saying, when did we meet? How old were we when we met? Uh, like, I was like four or five. What? Okay, wow, we were really young. They remember way better than I do, but I haven't seen these guys, that means in like 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> wow, all right. 
I'm really excited to be vlogging again, and I'm really looking forward to putting some extra effort into the story structure, in particular, and uh, and putting just some extra effort into telling coherent and long form story. Where last year I was curtailed by fear and was unable to really go and be as vulnerable and put as much of myself into it as I wanted. Now I feel very much ready to dive like head first and just feel miserably in front of you guys. That's, that's kind of the plan. So anyways, we're gonna talk more about goals, uh, dreams, the past, the future, everything this week. We're just gonna kind of set the tone and then we're gonna go for another 54 weeks, hopefully. Holy cow.